What's up, guys? This is Parker from the Fast Foodies Podcast, back with another nut butter review. I'm reviewing uh, nut butter from a company that I reviewed quite a few from, Be Nutty. I'll make sure to leave a link to the playlist I have actually for them in the show notes below in the description, as YouTube likes to call it. So if you want to check out other reviews I've done of Be Nutty products, make sure to check it out. I really enjoyed most of their products. They All their nut butters are pretty crunchy. And I find that the label on the description is pretty true to what the flavor is going to be. So I'm, I'm really excited for this one just from the look of it when I opened it up or actually didn't even open it just in the jar. It's a gourmet peanut butter with fudge and white chocolate truffles. But just wait till you see the jar. It's pretty impressive. This is what the bottom of the jar looks like. Doesn't that look amazing? Like look at all those the swirl of chocolate and fudge. I'm really, hopefully, if this tastes half as good as it looks, it's gonna be a good one. And especially since I love chocolate, I'm really hoping for a nice contrast between kind of the sweetness of the milk chocolate, but a little bit darker fudge that should go really well together. As always, got the trusty tasting spoon. Let's get in to the taste test. So the on the spoon look. Now, it kind of actually looks a little bit more disappointing now that I opened it up. I guess all the mix-ins or chocolate was on the bottom. I really hope I get more of the flavor as I bite into it, but let's get in to the taste test. Okay, now that, that's pretty good. Texture-wise, it's nice and sticky. I love those kind of peanut butters that stick to the roof of your mouth and you really got to chew it and it takes a while to go down. If you don't like that, then you might want to steer away from this flavor. However, I love that. It also has a nice crunch factor to it, which you guys know I love. The peanuts are ground a little coarse and they're not too fine, which is really nice. And now let's get on to the flavor. So I'm not sure if it's like hidden or something, because I couldn't see it on the on the spoon look, the fudge and white chocolate truffles. However, when I bit into the peanut butter or when I tasted it, I could actually taste them pretty strongly. The fudge and the white chocolate played together really nicely. Um, it, the white chocolate I did find actually a little bit too overpowering. I, I got more of the white chocolate, not as much of the fudge. I would have liked a little bit more fudge. However, overall, I really like the contrast between the two. I haven't had a peanut butter with a contrast of fudge and white chalk before, and I find that it goes really well together. As I mentioned, a little too overpowering in the white chocolate. Maybe if the fudge was a little bit darker chocolate, I think that could have played to the advantage and brought out that dark fudge or that fudge flavor out more. But overall, another solid choice from Be Nutty. Honestly, I've been impressed with other flavors before. I'm gonna give Be Nutty's white chocolate truffle gourmet peanut butter a rating of nine thanks for watching please like share and subscribe if you want to hear more check out fast foodies podcast on apple podcast and spotify